Okay, today I'm in charge of uh, documenting one of the most important moments in someone's life. You're all probably thinking the uh, first viewing of Madam Web. No, a wedding. My friend Miranda, you guys have seen her in tons of videos for like a decade. I, I see the camera on me. I'm not dumb. I'm really not. Someone loves me! Someone loves me! She's getting married to this awesome guy named Logan. Now the problem is I have uh, honestly never filmed a video for a wedding in my entire life. What could go wrong, right? Fake it till you make it. Let the fun begin. Icon, bridal, and formal. We're picking up our dress today. Interesting dress he chose. Um, American Girl doll size, is that what you went with? <laughs> yeah, a two. How do you say yes to the dress? Yes. But like, how do you know oh, it's the uh, one? I came in with all of these ideas of what I wanted and I thought I knew the dress. I put on the dress that I thought I wanted and it was not it. I just tried on dress after dress and then eventually I was like, I wish I had the top of that dress with the bottom of that dress. And she brought it out and when I put it on, it just like felt it to my core. I was like, that's it. It's fine? Okay. It's fine. So it almost looks like a ghost when it's hanging up that high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta inspect it, is it? Yeah. Is that the dress you, okay, that's. <laughs> Smells all right. It's a dress. It's a dress. <laughs> it's a white dress. And then we've got our beautiful veil. Just some pretty little pearlies. There she is in all her glory. What's the key to a successful marriage? Happiness, honesty. Um, this is a beautiful bag. Uh, it's rehearsal time. It's gonna be here at uh, Brewer's Alley in uh, downtown Frederick. All right, here we go. Brewer's Alley. Do not tickle a child while holding an open glass of wine. Glad that you're here. Should be a great weekend. You're in the wedding party. If you're oh. in the wedding party, I'm gonna have everybody kind of congregate right here. I'm gonna give you a little training on uh, how to walk. So don't run. LP is judging everybody's walk. How's his walk? I mean, honestly, four out of 10. It's a strut moment, but I want you guys to just. I mean, LP, I mean, he's he's usually out of 10. I mean, he's usually 10 out of 10 most of the time. So the music's gonna be playing. It's very oh, slow. Okay, so you know, there's music to it. What makes a good walk down the aisle? A good strut. Shake your booty. We're gonna exit. This will be what I'm waiting for. This will be. Logan and Miranda have spent years. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This will be you and me. Totally. Totally. A summer of women, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, rehearsals are done. What's tomorrow? It's 420. Well, well, no, baby. It's, it's our, our wedding, wedding day. day. Okay, let the fun begin. It's wedding day. Okay, okay. so we got to ask the big question. When did you know he was the one? After our first date. He walked out the door. I turned to Alejo and I was like, that's my husband that just walked out that door. Now, what is the difference between standard makeup and wedding makeup? I have no idea. She's asking the horror artist to do her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> We asked your brother an embarrassing story about you. What do you think he said? <laughs> she was probably a junior in high school while I was probably a freshman. She was talking to a guy that I don't think my parents were too keen on. I kept asking her repeatedly, I was like, hey, give me my laptop back. I'm gonna go watch something. No, Ryan, no, I'm, I'm talking to somebody. Long story short, she finally slams the laptop down. She comes at me and she tries to kick me in the balls once. As she was doing it, I put my left fist out. She ends up running into it, knocking herself out. I would guess that would be yeah. the story. Kayla, the big question is, are you gonna wear black for the wedding? Absolutely. How could I not? <laughs> Morning. This property is protected by a nightly trained snallygaster, not responsible for injury or possible death. What's going on in Frederick? Now it's time to go see what Logan and what the guys are up to. They're hopefully getting ready, I hope. Do you guys think about the Roman Empire much? Rarely. Hmm. Yeah, every so often. Okay. I, I was I was always wondering like what would Tiger Woods be doing if he lived in the Roman Empire? You know? So the question is, we asked your brother an embarrassing story about you. What do you think he said? He definitely has a handful. In his room, again, he's four years old. We walk in and there's staples laying all over the floor. Turns out he had swallowed a few of them. And what? we take him to the hospital. I think he ended up being able to pass him. When did you know Miranda was the one? Um, honestly, pretty early on. It was pretty apparent that she was special. I peed myself 
uh, a couple weekends ago. She was just kind of the one. Um, Miranda probably would have said after the first date, she would have said, I love you to me. Again, I'm very deliberate, so I would have been like, hey, thank you very much, you know? <laughs> Uh, which is basically what happened until we were at uh, a wedding and I was just like, I'm just enchanted by her. A rare sighting. You in a suit! Right? And it's not black either. Look at you. Show MHF garb. Wait, what do you have in your hands? Tablecloths. Because LP said, I need tablecloths. So once it's here, this is where you want it to be. You don't want it, like when you're, when it, it, it to I don't know, man. I'm not domestic. I don't iron things. Look at me. Do I look like I iron? If an animatronic goes down, we're, we're good to go. Ironing linens? No, What's we're this? screwed. I don't even know what this does. Poor iron. And then it tries. Just a quick run over. Extra starch. Uh, you're officiating the wedding. Yes. We had a little problem. What happened? <laughs> So there is no speaker or mic available. So we went to Best Buy to make sure that Miranda was taken care of. So uh, yes, here we are. And this will be returned tomorrow. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here with Miranda's parents. What's the most important thing in marriage, do you think, for you guys? Don't take anything too personally. Yeah, and grow off of each other. You got to learn from each other, grow from each other, learn how to tolerate each other because everybody's different. Always love each other. Yeah. Two hours. Two hours. Then you say I do. What's going through your mind? I want to throw up. I've been like super nervous. I've been fine all morning. I know you were so cool last time I saw you. Now. Now I'm not okay. No. As soon as we pulled up on site, I'm gonna cry if I keep talking too much longer. But yeah, I'm getting a little nervous. Are you excited or just? I, think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's excitement or nerves or what, but I am feeling it. Oh, <laughs> dress is here. It made me cry if we keep talking, Kevin. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right, so we're here with Logan's parents. What were your first thoughts when you met Miranda? When we first met her, it was late in the evening. We were immediately impressed with her. Just the way Logan looked at her. I think we went to bed that night and said, I think he's in love. Yeah. Hey, Logan. We're here now. We're here. We're now less than two hours away from you saying I do. Yes, sir. What's going through your mind? Um, I got my vowels touched up today. I'm ready to rock. It's game time, baby. Um, I did the lettering and illustrator and then Paul made the sign and then I think the lady that owns the place just like ran it over with her golf, golf cart <laughs> and then was like don't put it in the driveway the lady and then she like comes down here and pours glue I'm like all right woman just and then how long have you two been together? And We've been together since we were in sixth grade. We've been together for a long time. Your next question was, what's the secret to the success? I think finding the right person is, is key. And you know, you know when you know for any marriage. I think willing to be able to put as much in as you take out is probably the biggest thing. You know, you, if you start wanting more from it than you're willing to put in, then most relationships are gonna have some level of failure to it. Okay, we we're about an hour away from uh, tea time uh, from the wedding starting. It's hitting me now too, right? Cause like I've seen Miranda grow up her entire life. Like there's fetus looking little Kevin and then uh, here's Miranda. It feels just like yesterday we were taking these yearbook photos. I feel like in your mind, your friends are still kind of like your friends from when you like first met them. So it's weird to see like, She's getting married now. Miranda's in good hands. Logan's like the perfect guy for Miranda. And I'm so happy that like they found each other. It's awesome also just being able to document this entire thing to kind of show what's going on between everybody and everybody's thought process during a wedding. Cause like when I talked to Miranda, I was like, Miranda, I'm not gonna do a standard wedding video for you. I, I can't do that where you just, you make it look all polished and like, that's just not my thing. And she's like, Kevin, I, I want you to make like a Mark House Haunted Forest video, right? We're like, we're just covering all the madness and but then having heart in there. Now uh, you can see, Everybody's here now. Um, <laughs> we got like 10 minutes. I'm starting to get nervous. I don't know how everybody else is doing. Let's let's go check in on them. Bridal party only. Okay, here we go. 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes. Here we go, Kev. Are you ready? Logan's having a ball down there. He's drinking. <laughs> he's having a good time. No, he's not. Over here, you can see men in the natural habitat by alcohol. They're having some drinks. He is. <laughs> Silence. We're like, yeah. you know when people ask you if you're fine and you tell them that you're fine? That's how we're staring right now. And they're partying. How are the flowers since you're just staring into the flowers? Are they up to your standard? They are. They're beautiful. He's working on the tie right now. Yeah. Ian's a man. Yeah. You ready? Mm, yeah. <laughs>
her down the aisle, what are you going to be thinking about? I'm going to be thinking about where all the time went. I remember that when she was born like it was yesterday, and now all of a sudden she's getting married, so it's kind of kind of scary how fast the years pass. And that's one thing I would say to them as advice, take time to smell the roses. Because they don't last long. That's perfect. Logan and Miranda have spent years getting to know each other. And on 420, 2020, Logan and Miranda, in the midst of so much uncertainty and hurt, found each other. Shout out to Bumble for putting the ball in Miranda's court. The continuous joy you have given my best friend is something I am forever grateful for. To see the love in her face and hear the love in her voice when she speaks about you is truly a beautiful thing. You have accomplished much in this life individually and now you're going to continue to do great things in this world now as a husband you are as much of a catch as miranda and you and your family should be so proud of the man that's standing before us today i'm so proud of the woman you have become and the love you both should receive in this life should be endless you both deserve the world and i know you both will continue to build the life you want filled with a bunch of kids uh, you two have honored me Beyond comprehension, thank you for sharing your day with us and allowing me to be a small part. Right before they say I do, what's going to be going through your mind? What do you want to be telling him? For me, I don't know there's anything that I need to tell him that I haven't told him so far. Yeah. I think he'll be perfect. I will thank you, Miranda, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I do. Keeping myself unto you for as long as we both shall live. I do. By the power vested in me by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Logan, you may kiss your pride. <laughs> I thought you just went for a cigarette. What are you doing now? Uh, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I don't f***ing know, Kevin! <laughs> Do a little dance for us.
It's over now. How you doing? We're married. Uh, I'm hoarse and I'm doing amazing. This is the best I've ever felt. Aww. I love my bride. <laughs> well, congratulations. Hi, Luz. Guess what? Now I'm your aunt. We have a little shoe malfunction, a whole, uh, a, a whole group effort. Oh, she's got Crocs on. Yeah, the cat. There we go. That's